My name is Chrissy, and today I want to talk about not giving up on yourself. Now, it's very easy when we're going through times in our lives where we think we've just got no value, um, there's no purpose to kind of what we're doing, we're not achieving a lot, we're losing our way, we can't get on the right path, things just don't seem to be working out, and we can sort of get stuck in those thoughts of thinking, well, who am I? Where am I going? What am I doing? And there's ways to actually start to move your life forward when you're getting into these sort of junctions or you're feeling at a crossroads. There, there are ways of sort of redirecting your thoughts in order to make your life go into one direction rather than a big intersection of crossroads, um, for example. <clears throat> now, when you're wanting to start to move your life forward again or start to choose the the direction that you want to take you've got to actually start to listen to your gut feelings you've got to start to listen to any messages that are coming through you've got to be more open and receptive to any signs and synchronicities that you're being led to and these are all sort of part of the sixth sense as well we use our senses our touch taste sight but we've also got to use our sixth sense is really important when it comes to um, decision making or creating things that we want now i'm not saying you have to be like some spiritual guru that can like just create their own life there are ways of doing that um, through manifesting and doing things as well but you've also got to allow a lot of flow so you've kind of got to put things out there and just allow things to flow when you come across something difficult um, there's no point putting resistance against it because it just makes it sort of harder to get through so what you want to do is just go with the flow and allow those things you know that you'll have little hiccups and hurdles you have to get over but that's okay. These are all learning curves. Sometimes things come to teach us lessons as well. And you've kind of got to go with that as well because it could lead you onto another path that you're actually meant to go down. So you've also got to kind of listen to these things. Like I say, the messages that you're being given are also a way and the feelings that you're getting are also a part of your guidance in your journey of life so another thing that you can do when you're really wanting to um, start to move your life forward you you have to actually move your body and I talk about that a lot because whether it be walking um, whether it be you go to the gym whether it be you go horse riding moving the body is definitely one tip I will give you another one is music music has an amazing way of creating feelings in you and they can really um music is like a vibration so it sort of vibrates to you and it can change the mood and the way that you're feeling so music is also something that i highly recommend i play a lot of music and i just i love the way it can change the mood i'm in or make me feel and another really important one is definitely um setting goals now they don't have to be huge goals you can just set goals for the day or you can set goals for the week, or you can set goals for long term. So you could write these on paper and just try to achieve things because it's also about achieving things that you um, start to move forward because you get that sense of, I am moving forward, I'm creating things and I'm, I'm, I'm living my life because life's here to be lived and you've got to be the one that's making the changes in order to get your life moving forward so whenever you're at these kind of um crossroads or these junctions in life that they're, they're just um they're, they're just a time to probably learn to just stay still and really listen to what's going on in your gut and what's going on in your thoughts and your mind and what you're actually feeling as well before you kind of make a decision because you can't just deny some of the feelings and things that we get and some of the signs that we're being given because it'll catch up with you later down the track you'll sort of be redirected off and then you'll end up being redirected back on so there's just some tips on how to get your life moving when you're not quite sure what direction to take just really listen to your gut really listen to any thoughts and feelings that are kind of going on and like i said set your goals you know 
put out there what you want and what you actually want to have happen in your life because you also have a say in those things. You can manifest, you can create, and there are processes that you can actually learn as well. And, you know, you'll start to notice there'll be big changes if you start to make some of these shifts. So I hope some of those tips help you today when you are feeling a little bit stuck. Just stop and assess the situation and and really start to feel, see and sense what's going on around you. Thanks for watching today. Please subscribe to my channel. That would be great and I'll see you soon. Bye.